Back to me. Back to me, Keaton. Back to me, Keaton. I got my Austin. Uh, it wasn't running. Got a new fuel filter for it this morning. Put it in. Fixed up the fuel pump. Got a new battery for it. It's pumping fuel to the carb. Now I'm looking at the diagrams for the carb for all this because the choke's not hooked up, the throttle's not hooked up right. Um, and then, oh, I also put a new fuel, like the jet, the fuel jet supply line was broken. This is what was remaining. Um, I replaced it with fuel line like this. You can kind of see it between that throttle cable and that lever thingy. Once I get this all buttoned up, we're gonna try and drive it. I still need to get brake fluid for it because there's no brake fluid at all, which is a little concerning. And then uh, we got this hand pump the guy bought to pump up the suspension because it's a hydroelastic suspension. So that's why it's sagging so low. I uh, bought some 50-50 coolant and I need to buy some methanol to mix together. 50-50 of those together, so. And then pump it up to 225 PSI and then drive it around. But the cool thing is I got this battery for 50 bucks at Walmart. That was great deal. The one thing I don't really know about is how the horns work. Because <laughs> there's obviously horns right there. But there's no button for horns anywhere. Uh, you would think the horn would be there, but no, it's not. So I'm going to end up bending these pedals. Uh, obviously, like when you sit here, your knee's already hitting the shifter. So the gas pedal should be where the brake is brake and then clutch but it's like this so I'm gonna bend these around to fit they'd be a little higher up which is fine but it'd be like right here all right guys I'm gonna get a little bit of work done catch back with you in a couple minutes triple layered up and then Alec was helping me out with the the carb on this SU carb on here yeah because your boy knows SU carbs he does from that dots got dose of them yeah you don't even have to balance these you lucky son of a bitch so I already told you everything that I did to make it functional enough. We did crank it with some uh, carb cleaner and it like revved up really high. We did get it running for a second on yeah after on the gas. Yeah, so uh, we were messing with the, okay, yeah, we're testing the mixture. Cause I had it all the way loosened to where it'd be super lean. Really? I thought it was rich. I guess it was lean. Yeah, yeah. super lean. So now we have to find. However, it doesn't look like things are moving the way they should be, so yeah. we'll have to test a few things and see see what's up with the mixture adjustment. I got this ATF for the, uh, what's it called? Damper. The dash damper. pot damper. Dash pot damper, which is this thing right here. Fill it up with like about a tablespoon, and then basically it like damps the throttle. And yeah, it makes it so the uh, piston in there moves up slower and closes slower, so you get a little bit smoother throttle response because if you got nothing in there, or you got something super light, it's gonna fly open. I think that was really part of the reason why. Really quick, and it's gonna slam shut and stall out your engine, so you're gonna get like a really fucking okay. back and like thun 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 ride while you if you like. Yeah, that was part of the reason why it was don't also have your foot like dead steady on the pedal, revving super high, super quick, and mm -hmm. the fact that the choke isn't hooked up either. Yeah. So he he was fingering the choke. Yes, I was. <laughs> While I was throttling and cranking, so we, it's getting close. So we're gonna mess with it a little bit and get it running tonight. And get that head on tonight. And get those body panels on tonight. Yes, get the body. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're getting ready to give her a go. All right, look what he's doing. Look down there. Yeah, Keaton turning a key isn't all that impressive. Sounding a little better. That smells super rich. All right, so that smells we are on, massively rich. We're on the maximum <laughs> like I type for rich. Initially, we were on the maximum for lean, so we do know that it is changing it, which is good. Yeah. So we gotta go right in the middle, I guess, and then go super rich right now. Oh, that's a rich boy. <laughs> so I need to go the other way. The the nut is on the bottom, on the back. It sucks. And it has it's not a finger nut yeah which makes it so it's all the way down here on. so yeah loosen it this time it's a lot harder to loosen it than tighten it i'll tell you that i need one of these little boys what 
We got it turned a couple times, so hopefully it's not as rich. Still smells a little rich. Huh. You're like, oh, we need to. Yeah, let's get the uh, get that mirror so I can see the piston. Okay, so that should be out of the way. It might have got stuck. Yeah, that might have gotten stuck. All right. All right, so let's try that again. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Did he just rev all the way up again? Yeah, no. Is, but, I, mean, I wonder if the throttle cable is misadjusted. It, I just readjusted it. Did you do it right? <laughs> that well, might be it. I could go all the way down to the floor and it would just barely open the bottom. So I pulled it. Okay, so you may have just gone it done too far then. Yeah. yeah. Probably just taking it too that far. Real quick. It should not be shooting up like that. Okay, that is a. In fact, maybe just disconnect it and let's try and get it adjusted at idle. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. We can That's do that. smart. Yeah. If you're gonna butcher something, make sure no one knows you're doing it. This one. Definitely don't Here. record it. <laughs> yeah. Is that don't post the, on the internet. Is that moving the choke? No, that's the throttle. Okay. You can automate. Yeah, that's your thumb. That's, yeah, that's your thumb throttle. Some light choking. The manifold's already pretty hot. Yeah, hot and don't speak. <laughs> race the shit out of it. Disconnect, man. The butt. So now it's closed. All the way. Try one more time. And we see. You don't have a tack. Alright, so. Welcome back. Now we're adjusting the idle. So that would be throttle. This is the, the, the idle adjustment screw. More? Feels like it's getting that stuck. That feels like it's flat. Hit hit the point where, or well, maybe it's Sitting getting caught on the fucking choke again. Yeah. Everything's getting caught on the choke. Let me feel it's moving. This is a fun game of turn this nut, Let's try it again. Yeah, that's what this shit is. Turn the next <laughs> nut, try it again. Hey, if anyone knows how to tune an SU carb, let us know. I mean, why don't you just floor it everywhere you go? Well, probably might just need the gasket and that's it. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't have one. Yeah, it has one. Oh, you're right, it does. But it, it looks like they may have just painted on it and then slapped a gasket on top of the paint. I hate these people. <laughs> I mean, I can try it with this in, see if that kills it. Maybe the choke, maybe we have the choke backwards. Like what we think is off is on and what's on is off. Oh, you weren't using that? No, I, I wasn't touching this at all. All right, let's try it. Did you kill it? Yeah. Okay. Something fell in the engine bay. I almost shorted. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's on the other side of the battery. Okay, bud. There's no way it could have done that. Okay, bud. Okay. Okay. Huh. Maybe, Maybe you guys have it all choke backwards. Light? Is there a choke light? Is there like a light next to the choke lever? A light? Yeah, like to tell you when the choke is on and off. I don't know. There's no light that I see. Plus half the things are missing in there. Fire. It looks like there is a light next to the choke. Yoke. So maybe it's a choke light. Okay. Yeah, what would cause it to rev high? Too much air, but where is the air coming from? What is this thing? Don't worry about it. Well, in the past. But don't leave it there. I know, it, we it took was it the off. Way. There was the other way around. I know, we took it off. Yeah, maybe if you put it back on it, it would work. No. Yeah. No. You can't say that it I won't. don't want to hear you. Anymore. I don't want to see you. Well, I'll go in that room. Okay, go. And I'll talk to myself. Okay, go. Vroom, vroom. I mean, the one thing we need to really tune this correctly, though, is attack. Right. I gotta go buy another tool. 
the taco meter. Tac. Taco. Taco meter. Taco. Taco. Well, it does run. <laughs> it runs too well. Yeah, it won't stop <laughs> running. It's always wide open. <laughs> Hey, Jerry boys and Jerry girls. Oh, uh, hello. He found a magnet. He found a magnet finally. Yeah. It's, uh, it <laughs> has a, found a magnet. It, well, it moves like this way a little bit. And this. Ow, it hurts. Jacob oh, loves it. <laughs> but it moves. He's so. super happy about the this. The magnet hurts. So, uh, we got gas. We got, or Alex spent like an hour rebuilding the carb, kind of. Or just fixing it. So. Figuring out how this specific SU works, pretty much, because it's weird. Yeah. But. It seems promising from what you found. Yeah, we fixed the the uh, the choke, put the cable to the top, and bolted it down a little bit. So it's out of the way. It's definitely not lined up where it should be. It fell yeah. off already. It already fell off. <laughs> as, long, as long as it's it's out of the way. Held out of the way. That's all we for now. Here. Yeah. How much more wire do you have on that thing? A lot. Oh, way too okay. much. Yeah. Just... It's it's a weird wire. Um, you messed with the okay, fuel gosh. mix. Yeah. Alright, that is, oh fuck, fucked it up. Damn. I fucked right, it up. We'll be right back. <laughs> yep, let me know when the fuel gets You're gonna have to here. prime it, yeah. Go watch the fuel. It's, right, hit the throttle a few times. Yep, just in and out. It feels loose. Oh, yeah, it's not getting caught on stuff. Alright, that should be good. So, we'll go ahead and try and fire it up. Throttle it a little bit. All right, sounds like it might be a little lean again. Yeah. Okay. Definitely lean. Okay. I found out from the little throttle. Yeah, we still didn't put any in there. So we'll add a little bit, see what that does to it. We'll get but, the bag off of there. Oh yeah, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> um, so what I found out was, so if you, this little thumb throttle, yeah. obviously that's opening it. Yeah. When I push down on it, it drops the idle down. Ah. So I think this spring, spring. that's supposed to be pulling it down has loosened up. Yeah. Because it should be pulling it down a little tighter. Okay. That's why it feels so loose on the throttle. Uh, pedal. Yeah, that's probably a little reason why the throttle pedal feels weak. Oh, when I, I pushed down on that, that's when it started to cut out, go down, because okay. I was pushing it past below idle, well, even though the I've idle set to screw is as far as we can. Right here. Alright. So we can try. It's pretty stiff. I can bend it over. It's gonna need, yeah, it's, you're going to need to make yeah. the bends. There's three screws here, and then we'll add the ATF to it and adjust that spring, which looks... Like it just sits right on there, pretty easy to fix. Yeah. I might have a longer spring, which would work better, but it's definitely of a higher. Uh, One I would definitely spring get... uh, constant K. Yeah. What is that? The spring constant. Uh, K. Yeah, it is K. Yeah, K. Okay, yeah. Ooh, my back. So we're talking oh, about the spring that. down here. You got a little syringe or something? Nah. It's uh, it basically is ah. given the what the resistance right, you, of your you throttle. Use, I can just use a tube and just like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah do like little. Thumb straw. From two, we'll grab straw. A straw. Stay tuned. So we tried to find a new spring for this thing, and that was it. But then Alec found out that the it wasn't with the spring; it was that this little linkage. little linkage arm. So we bent it that way, and now it closes. Now it all is the way. solid. Yeah. And it feels closed all the way. It feels a lot tighter when pulling. And now the actual idle screw would do its job. So yeah. we're gonna give it a test fire and see how so gonna, how it the holds idle up. Screws. Right now, all that noise in the background is our neighbor having a 20th anniversary motorcycle. Yeah, like, dude, they got some it's sick, sick it's shit sick. out there. It is awesome. Yeah. The last one was so sick. It's bumping. Because I couldn't do that, though. Oh, yeah. This, I'm going to get my car warmed up so we can fuck with the air fuel. Okay. All right.
Yeah. Yeah. It's a good point. So right now there's a little lever under the dash spot. I'm gonna lift it up a tiny bit. We're gonna listen for the how the engine changes for the mixture. But it's running, baby. That thing is running. Yeah. Woo! In a matter of a couple hours, this man ma worked his magic. Drank a couple beers. These magic fingers. <laughs> Got those fingers to work. <laughs> so what we're doing is, once he pulls that, or pushes that pin up on the dash pot, that opens up, uh, like the, the air intake, but, or it allows more fuel in as well. So when that gets opened up all the way, we're looking for the response on how it, it uh, either okay. raises an idle, it lowers an idle. What we're actually looking for is it for it to just peak up just barely and then then uh, just even out. Yeah, it should that's, be a little blip of upward rev and then flatten back out to where it was at first because that's, right, when you're lifting it up a tiny bit, that's going to be like as soon as you step on the gas. If you have it wrong, it's going to stumble all the time mm -hmm. or you're just going to run rich all the time. So when you get it right, it'll just be a smooth off idle transition. Yeah, so perfect air fuel mixture would be just smooth when you lift up that pin, so. So, yeah, let's try it again. Okay, you adjusted it a little bit. Let's see how it, it does. Clockwise. But yeah, like from which from direction? Up, yeah, from up or below. <laughs> so yeah. I'm gonna turn it the other way now and we'll see if that starts increasing. It's one of those annoying parts of tuning a carburetor. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm starting learning so much. Uh, so the idle's too low, you're I think saying? We might have, I might have turned the idle down a little too low and that's why it's stumbling out. Oh, so you gotta raise the idle and then lower the, raise the, idle lower the fuel. Again, and then see how then that affects it. when we... Okay. <laughs> I mean... Right now, it it's not running bad. Yeah, doesn't sound like so, it. So, I mean, you want to try and just back it up a little bit and... I have an e-brake. Yeah. All right. All right, boys and girls. Keaton's first drive. You got that uh, screwdriver too. Yep. It's alive! This has got some noise on it. You gotta get back to first. You gotta find first. There's first. Yeah, hit that e-brake quick! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to pull it out in the neutral and it went so... Put it back. I was about to say, yeah, I'll make sure he doesn't run into the tools, but fuck them tools. All right, we gotta look at the shifter next. Because <laughs> that thing nope, still is still in the forward gear. Yeah, good luck finding those gears, bud. Yeah. I yeah, see. let's take I, a I look. I think I know what the problem is. Take a look at the shift tunnel. Did it turn it off? Yeah, turn it off. Yeah. Yeah, we got a charge box that we can jump you. Okay. Or we've got, yeah, we've got batteries. we got everything. There we go. Get that fucking nasty ass. <laughs> when I looked at this carpet, it went. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a cloud of dust. Oh, um, it's up in there. I say we just pop that off. Okay. The towel gets hot. Does it untwist? No. 
No, but I don't think it's supposed to twist. It's not supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah. There's this, right. there's this no, If you get oh. a light pointed in there, it looks like there's like a half a bushing missing. Oh. Yeah. There's half a bushing missing. How do you see that? If you look at it from this side. Oh, yeah. But that doesn't explain why it's fucking rotating. Well, yeah, it doesn't necessarily explain all that. But <laughs> I mean, maybe it's just get bent. two slotted screwdrivers and just flip this off yeah, and see what's that. up. All right. 